Good morning, everybody who is working on the course How to Model in Model Cloud. And in this video, I will show you how to start a course on your Moodle Cloud. And also, I will show you some other features. But before we do that, we need to get on Moodle Cloud site. As you already noticed, I have already uh, created the login name and the password, so I just uh, have it saved on my platform and uh, I do log in and get into my Moodle Cloud website. Here you can see different courses and uh, I will switch here to English uh, so that uh, it would be more comfortable for you to follow me as I teach you what uh, to do here and uh, how I'm going to uh, do some things here which could be very important and helpful for our future studying. So first of all I would like to rename my site so that I can give the name to other students who are interested in my courses and uh, I decided to rename it into uh, different names. So I go to settings and uh, I edit. I am editing some settings and I will remain it into, uh, let's say, learning with you again. Learning with you again. So I can teach here my fellow friends uh, some courses. Uh, in uh, how to practice English and some other practical courses and it will be general uh, site for them. That's how they will find me. And uh, I will give here a short name, for example, learning, learning, uh, something like that. You know, again, learning, well, it doesn't look very short. Well, let's do it L-W-Y, so it will be cool, right? And also I can add maybe a picture here. And uh, uh, let me find a picture, image properties, uh, but uh, it, wants, it cannot download a picture, I guess, from my computer, so I don't know how to basically add a picture, unfortunately. It's not possible to enter it from the computer, but I guess that's all right. So I will close it and I will go down and just, uh, just save changes. So now my site is called Learning with Yevgen as you could see, and uh, you see the short kind of abbreviation of my site, and I can go to the dashboard right now, and uh, here is my site, and here are some courses which I teach, and uh, these are the courses I practiced with, and uh, as you see, there is a uh, uh, site administration button here. Uh, this is what you can find on the Moodle cloud and this is the great opportunity for you to be able to change your site, to add courses and to delete some courses. So uh, let's see what we can do here. We, will, we go to site administration here and uh, we can choose courses, for example, and uh, here we have uh, manage courses and categories. So we go here and uh, I just do not want uh, uh, some courses here because uh, there are too many courses uh, for me right now and I practiced with some of them and some of them are kind of old. So what do I do? I basically uh, tick them and uh, delete them and push delete and uh, it is asking me to confirm so I delete this course because I do not need it basically so 
<clears throat> and uh, it asks me what to delete and shows me what is basically deleted. I continue to delete and here I do not have this course any more. I have some other courses. They are in the category theology here. So I will leave them for a while because I will be practicing uh, with them. And now I want to create another course, for example. And uh, therefore I create uh, a new category for this. Uh, recent category was uh, theology, but I want to uh, make it on the top. And it will be, for example, st uh, studying English. 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 Studying English. So <clears throat> this will be the name of the category. So, and uh, just I push create the category. <clears throat> so now I have a category here, study in English. In, and uh, I can create a new course here. Create a new course, for example. I can give course full name here. So for example, it's going to be English, English uh, for teenagers for teenagers let's say so it will be short name English uh, for teenagers and uh, I can set up a start date uh, and uh, so forth uh, maybe I need to prepare for this course for a month so I will get February as a start date and uh, I am not uh, getting an end date yet and I will I will add description of this course later and uh, add some pictures maybe and so forth appearance uh, completion and all other settings I can work on them later so I am saving uh, this new course for example and uh, here I have two categories uh, and basically one is theology and another one is studying English and in studying English I have only one course English for teenagers so now I can uh, go back to this course and uh, I can work with that course on the site so I go to home and uh, here I have some courses which are available, available, and also the course English for teenagers. So, and uh, here we have topics, and I can uh, here turn editing on, for example, and uh, decide uh, how many topics I want and uh, fill in topics and fill in the material and uh, build my own course. So this is basically how to uh, start a new course on Moodle and you can try to do the same and have a good time. Thank you for watching this video. Please write uh, in comments uh, what you think about it. Thank you.